Right then, let's get into this one. So it's a 2023 plate DE13 engine injector replacement. This has already been diagnosed. It's coming up with open circuit to injector number six. Uh, there is another video I've done on these um, about diagnosing the fault. Have a look at that. And that'll give you a good idea of what we're doing. Right, so there's a brand new injector. Comes with injector sleeve, O-ring, new injector yoke bolt. There we're looking at the trim codes for these, so that is important that these are programmed in um, just to prevent any damage to the engine and also just to help it run better and give it a head start. Obviously these have adaptive injections anyway and I'm just checking this injector there, the electrical connector, just making sure that's not moving because that's the issue which I will show you later on in this video um, with these injectors. There's two screws in the back of them. Um, which hold that electrical connector on. Whether you get away with tightening them up or not, I don't know, but this is warranty, so we are putting a new injector in. We're not messing around. There you go, you can see there, look, that's moving. That should be rock solid. There should be no movement in that electrical connector whatsoever. There's loads of play in that. All right, so then we're just gonna start by taking these springs off the top the engine yeah they just sit over the top of the rockers there then we're going to come back down this way and undo all of these bolts that hold the rocker shaft on we'll take that off out of the way so we can get down to the injectors and get them out uh, fuel pressure sensor in the middle of the rail below that is the plastic pipe before the engine brake Make sure you undo them before you take the rock shaft off because if not, you will snap that plastic pipe. And we have a proper Renault rock shaft tool to hold everything in place, make it a bit easier to lift it on and off. Still bloody heavy. I mean, really should use a gantry. And there we have the coolant hose. Gonna be doing the sleeves, so you need to take the, drain the coolant down. Now this sits just behind the turbo and there's a little rubber bung there. We can pop our hose on there and drain the coolant into a tub and you will get approximately 30 litres out of there. Between, yeah, between 25 and 30 litres, I'd say, would come out there. So remember to keep an eye on your tub while it's draining. And if you look just down the front of the block there, you can see there's a little banjo bolt. We'll undo that. And the push fit diesel pipe at the back of the head, just to drain the diesel out as well, because we don't want to fill the bore with coolant or diesel. So we're just going to loosen the rocker shaft bolts off in stages so we don't damage anything removing it. Get the tool on there to hold all the rocker arms in place and make it a little bit easier to lift off. <clears throat> on these 13 litres ain't too bad because you can just rest it up on top of the camshaft there. So undoing that, you can see that also, this is number six, we're changing that one anyway, which we already knew about. But you can see it's just started to wear that adjuster screw there, which means the injector itself is starting to come apart, like this one, number four pump and injector, completely failed. No fault codes for it, still operating fine, just a mechanical failure. Now, if you look on the adjuster screw, you can see it's worn that into a nipple, very sharp, and that's because, obviously, that's been moving while the rock arms have been going up and down. So, number two, perfectly fine. If you look very carefully on that, there's a flat spot, which is how they should be. So that is number four injector, blowing itself apart. Quite common on the older ones, the different injectors as well. They've got newer inje different injectors in these newer ones as well. There we have the special tool for getting the sleeves out of the head. These are kind of pressed in, if you like. They're sort of almost crimped in, if that's the right word to use. Um, but this just sits down on the inside off the sleeve, splays out, and then you just use the other tool to um, pull it up and out. There you go, as easy as that, right, nice and easy. Much better than the old copper sleeves that you used to put in like the premiums and stuff, is that DXIs, nightmare they were, had no end of them snap. And these ones come out, come out piece of cake, and then the new ones with the new Renault tool we've got is even better putting them back in so just get the drill in there with various cleaning tools a couple of wire brushes and a sort of a brush a plastic nylon brush just to clean up the seats for the injector sleeves and we get a little bit of bond and paste on the end of the sleeve there 
just to make sure it's got a proper good seal once they're fitted. And just put in the new injectors, slide them in, a little bit of a turn, put your clamp on before you slide it down between the valves, and we're good to go. Get the rocker shaft back on, get that all lined up, and they must make sure, obviously, the plastic pipe for your engine brake is in place, but more importantly, the bridge pieces for your valves are all in the correct place. It's so easy to knock these when you're putting a rocker shaft on, and I have seen it a couple of times where they've not been sat properly on the valves, and they have spat them out, um, causing injector damage. And one of them luckily hadn't caused no damage at all, but had caused obviously very rough running. So we just get all these rocker shaft bolts torqued up to spec. Fuel pressure sensor gone back in. Cable tie that loom up because it will get trapped in the rocker arms if you don't. Get the last of these valve, uh, get the last of these springs on. Tighten them all up. Then we've got the last couple of bits. Just get the fuel pipes back on. Prime the system up again with a hand primer on the fuel filter housing. Rock the cover on. Then we are to clearing fault codes and programming the injector codes. Give that a quick wipe off. Nothing worse than oily fingerprints. Does show where you've been though. It's always good. So there's the fault codes. We'll get rid of them. They've all gone inactive now. And then we just program the trim codes again, vital to help the engine to run correctly, especially on a Euro 6. Please everyone give it a like and you can now subscribe as well. Thank you.